hello. Welcome to Taz Wales 12. You're on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wales 12, and I am the host who is Tara Wales. Today's video is going to be another car boot sale haul from Andover. It's only because it's the closest one to us. Five or ten minutes, it's easy to get up late and then go. I, we are going to try and go to a couple of different ones, but we'll see what happens. But this one's our local one. But before I get into the items and advice and how much I paid for everything, which is always a bargain price, I just want to say what the nitty gritty stuff first, which is if you like the video, the items, the advice, anything in this video that helps you probably save a little bit of money as well, then give it a massive thumbs up. It tells me what you want to see. It tells me what you like. Other people like it. Other people see it and the video will go around. So give it that massive thumbs up so please uh, come and subscribe to taswas 12 it's very easy to do absolutely free go on my main channel click subscribe and you will be part of the youtube journey and the love family there is also at the top a bell notification button that will tell you when i've uploaded a new video and you can see it there and then down below there is a clickable share button so you can share with your friends and family because they might want to get things, gifts, ideas, decorate their home, whatever, share it with them and it might help them too. Always comment on the video, please, please, please. So any suggestions, anything that you like, advice, anything down below, I will 100% comment back to you and like your comment every single time. Weirdly have to say this, the video is not sponsored by any of the brands that I do mention. This is just out of my own money two it's not really bought from the brand because i've bought it second hand and it's second hand shopping it's not sponsored in any way i've just got it for a bargain price that is maybe a more expensive brand please check out my two accounts on instagram which is taswas12 and taswas12 home check like follow comment whatever you like to do please that'd be great now we will get into the video of the car belt boot sale in Andover. One is very tired and they have come to join us on the video. It's not normally he'll sit like that, but we've got a privileged day. That's why he's there. I have also wrote all the prices down in my little book. You know, what everything I've paid for because when you get home you think oh my god what have i paid for that what have i paid for this what have i paid for that so i put mostly in this book that i actually got from b m for a bargain price of like one pound fifty at christmas and literally all my video ideas go in here and also what i paid for everything so easy peasy i thought i'll do that i started doing it sort of last couple of videos i think not last couple of videos there's quite a few in there so the i've done about 20 videos in this book already so quite a few but really really helpful in to the items there's a bit of a mixture of everything in here we'll try and i don't know i'll just go with what i can find to be honest one of row is this bit of clothing this is a brand new black maxi skirt it is all the way down here it's a bit creased at the moment because it's been on the floor ready in its pile to be filmed for you guys so sorry about that but and also got to wash it but it's a black maxi skirt really really long a little slit at the back and it has got an elastic waist which is always good it's black, black is always good. And also what I really liked on it was it had little loopholes that you don't normally see for like belts. There's like three in total, one back as well. I thought, what a lovely material as well. Like it's not like too thick, it's not too thin. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's literally brand new. And it says it was made in Turkey, but the label says on it anthology 
oh it's probably hard to show you anthology a n t h o l o g y with its like label in it it's there on this label too and i did try to search online for this and i wasn't quite sure it said it was like a dozen sort of purchase so i don't know you have to let me know down below because i'm not quite sure i have never seen that i tried to look it up i'll try and do it again but i just couldn't find anything and all i did was i paid a pound for this oh by the way this is in a size because i wasn't quite sure what size it was and i wasn't too fast because I was gonna, I could put it high waisted and then put a belt on it, put a nice t-shirt on, be lovely for the, uh, put trainers on, put whatever, sandals, really easy outfit. UK 14, there, pretty good. Yeah, really lovely and it was literally a pound. I will do a show on of that because it'll be good. Maybe a while ago, I can't remember if it was shoe ash or it was Andover, I bought like a bunch of roses. So this woman had a bunch of wooden roses all together, yellow ones, and she had it in a vase. And we were like, we don't want the vase, we just want the roses. Exactly same thing happened, but the guy had like three bunches. Not quite sure what I want to do with them at the minute because there's two bunches like this which have got these little bits all in already and they're all like tied up if that makes sense which is really good but where i'm gonna put them they might be a bit funny if they're not individually so i'm gonna see but that's the first lot so that's a pink lot we had like oh, this one's come out of poise he had like some natural toned ones with a couple of few black ones in there. Exactly the same with these little bits, but they're just on their own thing. So I'm not quite sure if I want to untie them. So that was that. And um, coloured ones. He had like three bunches in total. And so you can see like all the random colours there. And these weren't together. I asked the guy how much you want and he was like, uh, he was like, I think he said a fiver with the vases. And the vases weren't like great. They were just glass ones. And we were like, well, we just want the roses. How much do you want for the roses? He was like a couple quid, like three quid. And I was like, yeah, three quid. I did, when I had got home, I did have to fix some of these, which weren't the easiest of thing. Because there were a few that was falling apart. But I did just about manage to fix them. As you can see, it's a little bit un thing they're okay they're there's some in the vase already so i think i'm going to put them all in there together in the kitchen at the top of one of our units and i think they're going to look really good so i'm thinking of maybe unraveling them ones but three pound for all these roses i looked online and they wanted so much money for them because the ones i've only got is like 10 wasn't enough to put in the vase so this is definitely plenty now this some of these might have to go somewhere else but we'll see when we when i do it really happy for that for three pound but yeah just had to fix a couple another little tip actually i want to say so sometimes when you buy like fake flowers at a car boot sale they're not always in the greatest condition i bought some off a house clearance bloke and he was like, oh, fake flowers are so much. And I was like, oh, well, how much do you want for them? He said, oh, a couple quid. So I paid like two pound, I think. I can't remember. I think it was two pound. They were a bit lot bigger than that. And they're in our toilet downstairs. Had to paint them and I've had to fix them. And I've still got some stems to fix on them. So be careful what you do buy because 
even though people think yeah but then that's been in like an old biddy's house it's probably dusted i had to clean them all off and wary of what you do buy but some of it you do get some lovely lovely flowers from because i've got some from charity shops and other bits and pieces this is my sucker and i really shouldn't have bought it and normally i will get told off by now if i buy things like this but i couldn't resist it and it was such a good size i did see one quite a while ago and it was a father christmas one and he had like a little like leaf like berry leaf in his hat i wish i brought it it's gorgeous little mug christmas mug so you kind of know what this is now but i had already a primark a while ago so i thought i better not buy another one but it is really cute but i bought this one so i bought this lovely christmas mug oh, i love a good christmas mug the thing is why i love a good christmas mug is because these can be decorations for the kitchen like we don't have a lot of space to put decorations in the kitchen. We do have some shelves up now, but they've literally just gone up. But there's some bits and pieces already on there and I've got some bits and pieces to go on there. So at Christmas, they probably have a lot more bits and pieces on there. But the only place we did have was like on the top of the tea coffee set. So I bring all my Christmas mugs out of the shed. So this is where this is gonna go. We only had in front of the window and then whatever cups i had went in the cupboard or on the top depending what i was feeling like but i couldn't resist this and i was like oh it's really nice like i love it i don't know where it's from either so it's got this like little holly little leaf there the christmas pudding and it's all like 3d it doesn't even say where it's from so i'm not sure it's a really big mug and i love things like this for like hot chocolates a nice ma mug of tea with watching a christmas film christmas day is it your christmas day mug like yeah so i love this and when i asked the woman how much it is and she went 50p i was like i need that for 50p and now i wish i got that other christmas one that i've just seen because i'm pretty gutted but hey ho we'll get that in out of the head but love this 50p the thing i've been looking out for is like cosmetics body lotions and shampoos conditioners makeup i have not really been looking at them i don't know why i've just been really put off but i had a look one time in another car boot sale and i got like three good items for like two pound fifty i think it was and none of them have been open none of them have used and they were all in good really condi good condition well this woman had some lovely little bits too i have slotted the bits in that my mum got too as well but i want to say about this this is unreal like i saw these so there was a conditioner and there was a shampoo and when i see things like this i get really really shy and I think, oh my god, it's gonna cost me like way too much money. They're gonna want what they're gonna want way too much money for it. There was a shampoo and then there was the conditioner. I said, My mum don't care. She's like, How much do you want for the things in your box here? And the lady was like, Some of it's a pound, some of it's like 50p. She's absolutely fine. And my mum don't care. She will go for a bargain if that makes sense. So she had like three items, I had like two, and she said to the lady, three pound, is that okay? And she was like, yeah, that's okay. They got out of it, which come quite good little bits as well. They're quite expensive as well, if you look at them online, and I have, have will put slots in pictures. So I got the Body Shop Banana Truly Nourishing Conditioner, and this is the 250 ml bottle. So this is the biggest bottle they probably do, and it looks like, hardly any of it's been using i think this was in there because they either didn't like it and also it is like an older bottle i think they've brought a newer bottle out but it's st still the same thing like if you open it it still smells of banana it's like one of the best things i love from the body shop and I'm gutted my mum got the shampoo because the shampoo was basically full as well. So I was like, right, well, I'll have the conditioner. I'm happy about that. So love that. And then I also can't pronounce this, but I know it's a really expensive brand. That this Lokiatia, Lokiati. So it's 
L with a hyphen O C C I T A N E, and this is the 75 ml one, which I think is a travel version, and it's a body shower oil, and I've never tried it before. It looks pretty brand well new. Smells incredible. I know this stuff is really, really expensive, and there is a 12m in there. Yeah, so I thought I'd get that because that's probably really good on holiday to be fair but i don't think i'll take it on holiday but if you feel a little bit like you want a bit of oil that might be really good but yeah both of these items were 50 pence each and for a pound that is a bargain My mum got some serum and other bits and I'll show you that at the end because so I should. The that I told you I was talking about that we've just recently had put up in the kitchen. I wanted to find a few little fake plants for that. I love a few fake flowers. I love fake plants into all that stuff. Sort of stuff. I did see this little red boy and I thought, you know what, that'd be really nice. Like I love the texture of it. I love the pattern of it. And then when I had a look at it, it is actually from Ikea and it's a called a fujaka fujaka it's a nine centimeter fake plant i think that's all plank in here really really love that and these old couple are selling it for a pound i am looking out for some more fake plants to put on there because i want that aesthetic it's kind of black our thing as well so this will really go i want like a really nice hangy down one not too hangy down because otherwise little man will try and get it but i want something like hangy down i've got a nice little radio on there i've got like a nice little aesthetic on there and i've got some i've got another thing in this haul to show you that i want to put on there as well really like this about now. the other thing that i literally got which is a bargain price and that is to go on the shelves this and it's quite heavy too i think it's come from like home bargains or b&m this is kind of this sort of aesthetic has come from it has got a little like chip at the bottom but it could have come from anywhere to be honest i loved it because it was like the creams i love a good cream and like white and stuff and we love a little bit of color in this house but i do love a little bit of blacks creams we love a little bit of grey, as you can see. We love, uh, you know, we've got some green in there. We've got bee theme. Like, there's a little few things, like, going on. But this, I thought, was gorgeous. So, it is a... Now, I forgot what the word of it is now. Oh, my God, I forgot the word. If you can tell me what it is, uh, that'd be great, because I've completely gone out of my head. But it is actually a tea light holder. And I won't put a normal tea light in this. I'll just put one of them little fake ones. And that'll look really pretty, like just flowing off the top there. So say you're cooking in the kitchen or I'm doing the washing up, just putting that on and putting the radio on. If I'm doing cleaning in there, whatever. Yeah, really, really love that. It's really, really heavy. I said to the lady, how much do you want it for it? I actually was looking at a fake pants as well. So I had to, how much do you want this? Because Neil made a funny face because he actually came to the one time. And my she said, my husband made the face when I brought that too. And I was like, well, how much do you want for it? And she was like, 50p. I was like, 50p for my shelves. Of course I do. Like that go total in here. Love it great little bargain for 50p you don't get many things for 50p or like 10 pence or whatever most people want a pound or something for 50p i was like yes please. i love the little mermaid i love it love it as a disney thing i love it I haven't seen the new animated one i love the little mermaid and when i saw this i had to get it i have got other little mermaid pjs but when i saw this I was like, oh, I need to have that. And it's a really big size, which is really good because sometimes I like having like a little espra at night, like one of them from Primark, and then just shoving a t-shirt over. So love this. So I saw it and it's all quite in good condition. Like just got a little mermaid on it. I think I've got like a big 90 as well. And it just says dream big in it, like in this silver 
stuff it's really good things like this to take on holiday as well because they're like sort of like getting ready tops or just chilling or like after you've had a shower and you put some after sun on like it's really good it doesn't cling to you if that makes sense so really really good it is a proper disney one because it has got disney it's a very big well it's not big size it's big to me though big size to me i wouldn't they wear this as a normal t-shirt it is a 20 to 22 but i had a look and i was like in a different label it's actually from Pepper Co, which is obviously poundland i asked the lady or girl how much she wanted for it and i was like i'm gonna use it for bed and she was like pound and i was like yeah i've got a pound like it's proper disney it's in quite good condition um when we do wash it i'll just either do it by hand or i'll turn it inside out really love that for a pound and it's really good to buy stuff like this when it's a bit cheaper because sometimes when it's white it will be a thing but i've got another one that i've got in a really big size from primark it was a sailor moon one and it's got a little embroidered cat on it but it's black but i love that wear it all the time it's so comfortable like i said it just doesn't cling to you and it's just it's lovely great little top really good thing. bargain there's a table this woman had and she was like everything is 50 pence each i don't know if she had one more of them and someone else bought the other one but she had two of these bottles and i've actually got neil to buy these for my christmas or a birthday present they were black with silver on them but the one thing i've done is buggered the pump up the beads in it and i've got to try and get them out and i don't know if i can so i might have messed it up they only had the shampoo one but they had it in the white it, with the black writing and then they also had like they do really need to clean but like they also had the black uh, white with the black writing with the body wash and i thought for 50p each you can't really go wrong because i remember he bought me these and they were quite expensive I had them and my mum was like actually they're a really good bargain happy with that times at these uh car boot sales there is like random stalls that are like charity stalls so there's like last year there used to be one for cats and they do like loads of cat food like cat toys loads of bits and bobs seeing a cat one i've seen like for dogs there's another one for dogs the one i bought this item off was for dogs and it's a new one i've seen so it's really really good up there because they take like must people must give them stuff or they get it from house clearances or whatever and then they basically go and sell it for charity which is quite good on a sunday because you'll make quite a bit of money i saw this little sort of choker necklace on this little stand there's some really lovely bits actually when i saw this little necklace on there i love getting jewelry at a car boot sale i really really do for some reason it doesn't make it doesn't make me rash i got one from primark and it made me rash and i'm really dubious of wearing the other ones i had to get rid of that one and i've got another one and i'm really dubious of wearing it so these ones came from like they're like a brand called Faye, and actually this one i think is gold and i found it like yonks ago like years ago these ones are like fine they're like sort of a choker sort of necklace these got little hearts on there if you see it and one's silver one's like a rosy gold and then this one's like gold I saw this i've actually got some others that are quite similar that i've bought from car boot sales so i bought like a goldy one that's sort of in this sort of chain here and i've worn that really loads of times and then i bought a silver one from one of the andover ones and i saw this one which was a little bit different so it's got some like straight bits there and then it's got the like sort of brickwork um so i said to him and i kind of like it because it's not like a really really long necklace so it probably just come like just about down here and then sit on your chest so i said to them how much do you want that for and they said two pounds i thought that was so good for two pounds i tried the little clasp on it mont I might have a look if I can see what that's about, but yeah, it just says Mont on there. So clasp like that, really, really good like that. So perfect for two pounds. Next one I picked up was this little lorry for lorry. 
Flory, F-I-O-R-E-L-L-I. Mum thinks this is from Tesco's, but I'm not sure. I haven't researched it yet. But it wasn't the fact that I wanted her brand. I loved it because when I picked it up, it was it's really, really soft. It's obviously fake, um, like that fake leather sort of stuff. But it's really, really soft. And I loved it to the fact it was a little rucksack. So it's literally got these long arms, like the buckles that you can do up. And then it's got a lovely little handle on the top. It's got a zip here with some lovely like bits inside, like a little pocket there, but everyone's like, that's all clean. It's gold and black. And then you've got your little zip on the front, which looks absolutely clean. And then you've got two zips inside, like on the main bit. And then you've got bits for your phone or glasses. Then you've got this other two bits with this black bit here. And then you've got like a pocket bit in there. Oh, actually, I'll say on here. Flory. This is designed in London. I'm not sure where it's Flory's from here. And then it's got the, like, the make in there. And it's got this pink design. And it's really clean. It's really lovely. It's really soft. I really did have an episode when I bought this. Basically, I looked at it and I was like, oh, I'm really going to buy that. So my mum went off and then basically I said to the lady, how much do you want for it? She said, three pounds, right? I was like, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Went to try and find because I've got a separate little purse for my money because I, it's just easier to get out and I couldn't find it. So panic struck in. I was literally looking for my handbag and I was like, I can't find this, can't find this. So I had to put the bag down and then I went, stormed up to my mum because she had gone way up the aisle. And I said to my mum, I've lost my purse, I've lost my purse. And she was like, oh my God, no, you haven't. And I was like, I have. I was like, that's got all my money in it. I literally put fresh money in that. And she was like, no, you haven't. And I, she was like, check the other one because you bought the bottles. And I checked the other one and it was in there. So yeah, just be careful when you're like trying to do too much where you put your stuff we found it then we went back and i said can you just please check like where i am or i will check where you are because it's horrible when you get in that situation when you think oh my god i've lost all my money went back and paid three pounds for this because i thought this is so worth it i thought about taking this on holiday but i don't think it's going to be big enough like when we do go to on holiday again like abroad i normally take like a quite a big bag for my and luggage a book like every you travel documents i just don't think this would be big enough for me personally but I, what i thought would be really good if you went out for the day like you went out walking you went you could put a drink in here um you could put some money in here you could put um like some sunglasses you could put other bits of phone and everything in here and i thought it's not too like big either it was really good for £3. I thought if you go out for the day anywhere, like to a natural event, that you're walking around for ages, it's horrible having that massive bag, isn't it, with like everything on it. So I thought having a massive rucksack, I thought this would be great because it's only a tiny little rucksack and it's got enough like compartments and stuff that you can put stuff in. So happy with that. For £3, I thought it's totally worth it. and then we are literally done so we needed another lampshade but as we found one at the car boot sale for downstairs and i said i was going to move that one downstairs to upstairs well funny enough i found exactly not trying to break it exactly the same lampshade literally the same lampshade there is a few problems with this one but we didn't we paid a pound for the other one the pound is absolutely great and it's in mint condition the other one there's a few things 
this one's not too bad there is like a few bits wrong with it so inside there is a one hangy thing missing i think there's one big hangy th thing missing on the bottom and one of them's broke but if i hold it up like this you really can't see a difference and it's going on the top here so they're gonna match each downstairs hallway and an upstairs hallway, which I'm perfectly happy about. This only cost me 50 pence. So I'm really happy. There is like a few marks and that, but I'm really, really happy with this. For 50p that we found exactly the same one at two different car boot sales. They were both Andover, but they were both two separate times. Love it, 50p and yeah you won't notice there like some of them are missing because there's so many there but yeah really really this happy. one i was not expecting to see at car boot sale well i have seen it at car boot sale once but it's brand new in packets and it was at a shoot ash one and there's a lady that sells a load of like makeup but i don't know how much the makeup is because you never see anyone over there i don't know if they're just not interested or whatever this lady on this table had this box of stuff and I saw this item at the back and I thought, oh, I want to go have a look at that. So I had a look and it was this. So it's the In The Rage Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. And I was like, oh, it's not perfect condition. But it doesn't need to be, if that makes sense. So I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Really, really wanted to. It is so much money, but I just didn't, like, my friend tried something. She didn't really like it, but a lot of people love it. I saw this, and this is Charlotte Tilbury. It's all glass, the bottle. It's definitely the real stuff. Airbrush Flawless Foundation stays all day and night. There's no, like, directions on it. And then it just says it's number three cool. I thought, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Like the shade. Because I kind of like a lighter foundation, to be fair. I like a lighter foundation and you can bronze yourself up a lot more. That's how just how I like it. Some people like to be as like on and whatever. And some people like it to be darker because they have tan. I don't want to tan that much. But I thought this would be really nice. It's the girl, like... How much do you want for this? And I don't know how much she's used. She's literally said it was like literally the wrong shade for her. I don't know how much is in this because it's such a glass bottle. And then she said, oh, I just want three pounds for it. And you know what? I thought three pounds to test this out to see if I actually genuinely like it. And then if I do like it, I could buy the more expensive one because I've already tried it. What I tried it was on the back of my hand when I got home was a tiny little pump. So you can see like it's a little bit messy, it's a little bit messy in there. But you know what, for three pounds, a Charlotte Tilbury foundation is about a big bargain. Even if there is half a bottle in there, I'm happy with that because this stuff is 40 pounds. So I will insert, insert the clip where I found it but it is £40, so it's good. I've got a £3 tester that should have more than half of it. And she said it was literally the wrong shade. So there could be like loads of it in here, but I just can't tell because it's such a glass bottle. But I'm happy for £3 to try it out, to see if I like it. If I do, then I'll get ask someone get it for me for Christmas or whatever. Or I just buy it myself if I really do like it. Because I do like the SD uh lord a double wear one but that's damn right expensive too but if it's good and it works for my skin and i get a flawless like filtered out of this and normally i use like two or three foundations so this will last me quite a while so three pounds very good bargain and that's the last one This picture was a pound and it's in our local village of Werbel that's quite near to us.
this is a Tesco gazebo sidewall. I think there's two in there in total. Mum's already got a gazebo and she just wanted another two side walls because the one that she bought, she only got two sides with. It was originally $9.96 from the Tesco's. It's three by three gazebo walls and she only paid two pounds for this. Brand new picture and it's even got price tag of £17 and it's from Blue Mountain it's brand new has not been used and that was £3 brand new outdoor mat just folded over you can see that hasn't been used and still got this label on and it's from Wilco so it's a core mat it's 40 times 60 cm and that was just a pound then this lady had like loads of cosmetic stuff um so i brought some stuff as well you as you would have seen in the video so my mom got some clinique happy which is a body smoother um that's a 200 ml I, if i can find this online i will imprint it the body shop banana shampoo which is 250 is pretty much all there and this lumi innovation arctic dew serum for all skin types so literally that was about and i got two items so it was a total of like three pounds which is really good Unfortunately, this has come to the end of the Andover car boot sale haul. There was a good mixture of there, the beauty, home. I love going to a car boot sale. I cannot tell you guys enough. If you want to save money, you want to get home decor, like home decor on Facebook market, charity shop, or even a car boot sale, you can find some pucker gems. Like try and go to them. You'll absolutely love it. Like I found some good stuff like over the years and most of the stuff in the house is from like either one of them. I've said a million times I've got to do house tour when like in the rooms and stuff. So I will try and do that because we've had some other little bits done now. Yes, I'll miss a few bits, but I can explain that and then show you on a later date. A lot of our home decor is from them things. Definitely, definitely go because you can get some beautiful gems and some stuff that you're really really like that you really really want but like half the price so it's really good go so if you've got one really near you that takes like 10 minutes to go to then go to it like honestly if you've got one and that's an hour away go like make the time and go you don't have to go every single weekend but just go and then once you find that item that you're like wow that was definitely worth that travel that was definitely worth getting up for then you'll feel so good for it but this like i said this unfortunately comes to the end of the video if you like the advice the items whatever in this video then definitely give it a massive thumbs up it tells me what you want to see tells me what you like other people see what other people like so give that thumbs up please come and subscribe to tas 12 by hitting the subscribe button hit the bell notification too I've had enough of speaking, my throat is hurting, so I need to wrap this up very quickly. But yeah, try and do them because it would be absolutely awesome if you could come and join the YouTube journey. Share it with your friends and family down below if you think they will like it. Comment whatever you would like to comment. I will 100% comment back to you and like your comment every single time. The video is not weirdly sponsored by any of the brands i did mention it's just what i found what i paid for is second hand so no sponsored check out my two accounts on instagram which is taswas12 taswas12home 
check like follow comment whatever you like to do do that would be great i hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening i'm gonna rest my voice i'm gonna have a nice cold drink and soothe it um i hope that you have a lovely day or a lovely evening take care and i'll see you soon guys